guys welcome to another video so this time I am doing a video for my trailer so don't judge we just uh, got to our site and basically we have stuff all over the place but this is the trailer I'll give you a little tour there's a pull-out couch here so nothing fancy but it definitely is good to escape the city life Basically it sleeps 10, so we got like bunk beds here, bunk beds, bathroom and shower, uh, fridge, microwave, stove, and then we have another master bed in here. Anyway, so we're actually at Bay of Quinty, and which is basically waterfront, so it's a waterfront site, and it's um, just a little bit east of where I am. So in between like Toronto and Kingston, I guess, kind of area of Ontario, Canada. And it is freaking windy as hell. It's like middle of September and it's beautiful, but it's super windy. Kind of wanted to show you what kind of things I ate as a vegan while I'm camping. So some people would say glamping and that's fine because it's not actually tent camping, but we are in an RV. Even though we have a stove and an oven, we never use it. My husband usually brings a little um, a little barbecue and then we usually have barbecue food or we have salads or wraps we've made tacos uh, or nachos too we've made pretty much anything you could think of but we just want something easy when you're camping you just want to like chill or bike or walk and just you know eat and drink typical relaxing things to do so I'll show you what kind of things I eat this weekend stay tuned guys what's up another crisp morning in Bay of Quinty Ontario it's actually 18 degrees so it's not too bad uh, last night was insane the trailer was rocking oh my god it was so crazy wind it was like what did they say it was about 50 kilometers an hour yeah then I heard 81 at one point too so yeah I don't somewhere. know if that was right but that seems pretty fast but it was crazy we were and we're right on the water so we we're a little worried but we made it we survived anyway so I'm gonna show you what I'm having for breakfast I'm having these bagels I don't know if you guys have seen these these are only 100 calories everything bagel they're gluten-free they are amazing but they're super thin so I'll show you <laughs> look at how thin they are so I'm not gonna lie sometimes I eat two so <laughs> 200 calories not bad especially because today I only have uh, vegan butter on it if I had avocado or um, something else on it like you know a fried just egg or something maybe I would um, just have one and then I have my coffee and that's it and then probably a banana so I think we're gonna go into town there's like a little town what is it like half an hour away or something oh maybe 20 minutes town of Picton yeah so we're just gonna go and just take a drive we need a couple things because we have other people coming we actually do trailer with another friend so our friends have their trailer in the spot beside us which is so much fun and then that way we can have meals together we have fires together and just kind of hang out and stuff um, but then we have another couple that's driving up we're just gonna come up for a fire and for drinks tonight and for dinner so I'm going to show you guys, we're going to after breakfast, and sorry, my hair's all wet. That's why I just showered, which is nice to have a shower in the trailer. It's the 70s wet look, everyone. Yeah. What was that? The 70s wet look? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Wasn't that a thing back in the day? Yes. And uh, we're, we are going to go for a little walk, because I want to show you the waves now. It's like insane. It was more than yesterday it was when I videoed during the day, so stay tuned. You want to go for a walk? Do you want to go for a walk? <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Get the leash on first. <laughs> Trailer 
park looks like. For any of you who don't know what a trailer park is, you have all the trailers. You, you get a site for the night, just like camping in a tent. And then they have a store, like up at the main place, there's usually showers, there's two pools here, tennis courts, there's basketball nets. So basically we just come here for a weekend. It's about, uh, about two hours from our house, I guess. Maybe an hour and a half. And it's just a nice little getaway, you know? And you don't need to have a trailer to go trailering because you can rent trailers. That way, especially if you're not sure if you want to buy one, you can just kind of rent one for the weekend and see how you like it. And I came from a life of camping in a tent, so I'm not too like spoiled to go back to a tent. It's just once you have, once you tent in the rain, then it's like, okay, you know what? It's nice to have a dry place to go into when it's pouring rain. So yeah, we like it. So we are just gonna leave. So we've did, basically you detach your trailer from your truck when you're out of sight. That way you can come and go with your car. So it's nice if you need groceries or whatever. So like I said earlier, we're just gonna pop out to the store. We need a couple more things for dinner tonight. And um, it's nice that there's always stores close by, usually within half an hour. So we're gonna come back and hopefully it should be beautiful. It's actually, the sun has come out now and it's, um, my glasses are all fogging up, but it is beautiful out and it's, uh, gonna be 18 so that's not bad at least the sun's here and it's definitely not as windy so it should be good so I'll show you what we get for lunch and I'll show you the little town that we go to of Picton super cute Now we just stopped in at the Metro, which is the grocery store, and I got some more Light Life burgers. Those things are awesome. They have them in almost all the stores here, and they're right with the meat sections, right beside the regular beef hamburgers, which is awesome. So I grabbed some more of those. I got some vegan cheese, just in case we want to splurge and have some vegan mozzarella. And uh, now we're just going to grab some gas and head back to the trailer. And so I might take you along for a little bike ride later. We'll see. back from our bike ride and we're actually not really hungry for lunch so we're just gonna probably start grazing in a little bit when our friends come just bring out some hummus and uh, veggies and we have fruit and chips and stuff like that so we just figured we'll just skip lunch and we're gonna have a big dinner anyway so we're just kind of relaxing with our feet up and listening to the waves so relaxing so we are going to have these Light Life Burgers. We have a couple of vegan friends who have joined us and we were already gonna have vegan anyways, even without vegan friends, except for me. So this is awesome that my non-vegan friends are we're planning to have this also. Um, and actually you guys might have already known my other friends because I did a video with Peter who actually overcame diabetes from switching beef to this Light Life Burger. So if you wanna click on the eye on your top right hand corner, you can watch that video. We actually did a taste test with the Beyond Meat and the Light Life. And this is the one that won. So here's the light life. So this is the one that we that won. Basically, it was because it was gluten-free, vegan, it was less fat, it was definitely healthier and tastier. So that's what the non-vegans chose. Like, what? This is awesome. So, anyways, we have a whole bunch of these burgers we're gonna have. So I'll show you what our dinner comes out to be once it's done. <laughs> So just because you're vegan doesn't mean you can't eat food while you're camping or glamping. So we got 
Light Life Burgers with Daya Vegan Mozzarella Slices Melted On. Yum. And then we have Corn on the Cob. Oh, something's in my eye. Oh, we have the potatoes. I gotta go get the potatoes too. Yeah. So it was the first time making french fries in the air fryer and they seem to have turned out great. So we're gonna sit down and enjoy. Look at this view to have dinner. So awesome. Okay, so dinner is a wrap and now you can see the sun is setting. We have a fire, we're getting our warm clothes on and we're just gonna enjoy the fire with a beautiful view of the amazing waves. Such a gorgeous night. If you can definitely make your way to this area and check it out, it's a beautiful area. It's basically close to like Sandbanks and um, kind of close to, it's kind of close to Prince Edward County too, right guys? We're in Prince Edward County. Oh, we are in Prince Edward County. There you go. It's like a whole area. It's awesome. And the fire's... Blonde? The what? <laughs> you going? Are you blonde? Oh, am I blonde? Yeah. Not naturally. See, my eyebrows are not blonde. <laughs> but you said, are we in the Yukon? There's my peeps coming to join. <laughs> vegan peeps. That's right, my more vegan peeps. She's gonna be in one of my videos soon. <laughs> we have dead bodies here. Good morning guys. It is Sunday, so it's time to leave today. And of course, guess what? It's the best day ever. <laughs> so the water's calm, the sun's out, and it's nice and warm. No wind. But anyways, I'll take you guys out later because we'll probably do one more walk or another bike ride before we leave. So I'm just having my bagel for the morning. And this time I bought the Daya uh, cream cheese. Look at how thin that is. <laughs> 100 calories for one bagel. So awesome. And it's everything bagel, vegan, and gluten-free. So good. This is how you have breakfast, right here. Have coffee right outside. Look at the view. So we are off. We got the dog in tow and we got the trailer. We got everything we need. So now we have about two hour drives to get, drive to get home depending on the traffic. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and encourage you to get out and enjoy the weather, whether you are glamping, RVing, camping, tenting, whatever it is, enjoy different parks and just check out your, you know, your state or your province, just check out your country. Anyways, thanks for watching. Until next time, live your life with kindness for all of you needs. Take care, bye.